All right, folks, a quick video on how I was able to connect my rigid battery to my Shark cordless vacuum cleaner. Let's get to it about what it takes to put this together. Uh, the voltage is somewhat similar, so uh, it does work. And uh, yeah, let me just. And oh, the max. Yeah, it does work. Let's see how I put this together. Well, obviously, we got the battery. So before I get to that, let's talk about the voltage to make sure that we did this properly. So the rigid is 18 volts. So we got 18 volts. This is the rigid. And it is uh, whatever, 4 amp, 4 amp hours. So you get power equals VI, which is the volt times the um, uh, current. So this is 72 72 watt hour So that's the power for coming out of the rigid now this one uh, It's it's behind here and, and I screwed this on already so I, I can't show it to you, but it's something like 25.2 volts and um, Something like 250 amp hours or whatever. Anyway, it comes out to 68 watt hours basically so what is required for the Shark vacuum cleaner is 68 watts of power. Meanwhile, the rigid supplies 72 watts of power. So therefore, uh, it's uh, it's enough to um, to give it enough power for the uh, for the Shark. If anything, it may give it too much power. Although I doubt it. Uh, I think it should be able to handle it. So it's pretty close, give or take. And um, after using it, you know, this thing still still runs and uh, it doesn't feel hot or anything or anything like that so let's go over what it takes to to do this so first of all we need an adapter so i got this adapter off of ebay they have them on ebay they have them on amazon you can buy two pack four pack whatever but you will need one of these and these things are great that you can connect them to your battery and then use it it comes with these two leads Obviously, black is negative and red is positive, so the polarity is very important here. Uh, and you can tell in your, in your, um, tell in here which is positive, which is negative. It's labeled here. Yeah, plus is positive and minus is negative. So you know what the polarity is on the battery itself that matches to this adapter. And like I said, they have sell these on eBay and Amazon. There's so many of them. And um, you know, when you connect them, you have these two leads. So it comes with screws and uh, it comes with four screws. And what I did was I just used three screws to mount them here and uh, here. So it's secure onto the base of this. If I want to remove this, I can. I, I'll just have to unscrew three screws and I can still remove it. Now, I do want to show you that one of the screws is quite, it's, it's long screws, maybe you could use smaller ones, but I used the screws that it came with and um, you can see here one of the screws has come straight through I can, um, it's pointy and I can feel I can feel it but it doesn't impact the 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 um, you just have to put it to the side and then it'll the filter will lock in place that's that so how did I connect the wires I think that's the key important thing so you will need these clips that go into and identify which is positive which is negative based on the battery that it came with so the red wire which is red wire here this is positive on this side it's the only one here and then the negative, which is this black wire. Well, I have an orange wire, but if I had black, it would be better. That connects to, to the last one over here. So looking at the polarity on the battery of the shark, I was able to figure out which one is positive, which one's negative. And I made a little note on the plastic. So when I connected up, I connected the positive to the, the, to the positive and the negative to the negative. So that was quite easy. And you need to get these... Um, I don't know what you call these, but these connectors that go onto the metal tab. And, and I got these from Harbor Freight, but you can get them from, from anywhere. As soon as I figure out how to open them, I'll show you which ones I used. Yeah. So basically these, and uh, I'm sorry, not these. Basically these, you only need two of them. And if you just push them in harder, they'll they'll open up. I think they're, they're a quarter inch size. So they'll open up and they'll fit in, uh, in here. So you just crimp them onto your wire. And then I used these solders, these 
uh, which I got from Amazon. I'll put a link to this one below. But I used these, to, I used two of these to here, and then used a heat gun to solder. As you can see here, you can see the melted solder in between. So, and it makes a nice tight um, uh, connection on this. Yeah, so that's how I connected the wire. Um, I could, I don't know, glue these or somehow put, maybe I'll put clips on them so that the wire, so that these wires don't hang out. This one I, I shoved underneath it. Maybe I'll figure out how to shove this one underneath so that the wires are not in the way. At least I'm trying to make it look as factory as possible. But, um, but they they work great so that I could use my rigid battery because, um, well, I have the rigid battery. And, um, yeah, and it does a pretty good job as soon as I figure out how the hell to put this back on. Unless it goes the other way. All right. Yeah. So, that's it. So, the voltage is good. Putting this battery on is good. And... Right. So you can't connect a rigid battery to a shark vacuum cleaner. Thanks for watching.